Following the alleged misconduct by the presidential advisor on special operations, Johnny Mohoz Kaini Lugaba, as a UPDF officer, city lawyer Hassan Malimabidis filed a suit against him at City Hall Court in Kampala. The suit filed on 22nd November 2022. Malimabidis alleged that Kaini Lugaba addressed a political gathering at Koro Independence Grounds in Kampala without resigning from Uganda People's Defense Forces UPDF which contravened the Section 99 of the UPDF Act that prohibits serving military personnel from engaging in political activities. Although the prosecution took over this file on 14th November 2023, Hassan Malimabidis made amendments adding suspects Balam Barugahale Ateng, Andrew Mujeni Mwanda, Mawanda Mike, Kabanda David, Nuwagire Mike, Lillian Abel, and Katunji Mike. Before Chief Magistrate Lona Dikais of Bugana Road Court, General Mohose's legal team led by Fred Mukasambide appeared to proceed with the case. It was, however, impossible. Following the amendments, in the absence of the complainant, Asani Malema Virizi, prosecution led by Joan Keko, asked court to first take the file to High Court Criminal Division for review. However, Your Worship, uh, Section 50 of the Criminal Procedure Code Act under Section 50 of the Criminal Procedure Code Act, the powers, power is conferred upon the High Court to correct by way of revision, criminal revision, to correct by way of criminal revision any error. We believe that an error was occasioned by, uh, by receiving these documents. This was not objected by Mohose's legal team. The actions of amending a non-existent charge sheet or without powers to do so, Your Worship. Your Worship intends to administer the otherwise very busy leaders of the country and treating them to punitary and reckless bangarang, Your Worship. And the action, Your Worship, in exercise of jurisdiction that is illegal or materially irregular. Magistrate Lona Dikaizi granted the application and said 2nd August 2023 for mention of the case. I would have exercised my powers as Chief Magistrate under Section 221 of the MCA Magistrate's Court Act to send this file to the High Court for revision. However, since the DPP has opted to file a substantive application for revision, it is fair and just that this, this court gives the DPP time to do so. Fred Mukasambide told the media, they will defend their clients. But it is one of those cases referred to as majorly frolicsome and vexatious. They cannot see the light of the law beyond even one day when it appears. The complainant Asani Malemavidis after court also arrived at court. However, he was dissatisfied with the way court has handled this matter. If people wanted to, to charge them, we would have charged them. <laughs> you see, under the Constitution and the Magistrate Courts Act, DP has no monopoly to charge people. The private prosecutor can also come and charge people. You are a charges people. <laughs> I give charges people. So do you think it is people who supervises how I give charges people? That a takeover only happens and only happens when charges have been confirmed. Deborah Namamonde, UBC News.